Hello, my name is Jose Barriga and uh, this is the next video on the uh, Nissan Sentra 2004 converted to electric. Um, this may be very well the, the last video because I, uh, unfortunately I need money and I don't have time to work on the car that much so I decided to sell the car. And uh, this is the video to promote the sale of the car. So what I'm going to do is show you the uh, features of the car and hopefully if we be able to find a, a good home for it. Uh, so uh, this is the car and pretty much uh, as you can see uh, it's red in color um, tires are in good shape they're in a pretty good shape actually I estimate 70% left of uh, life left uh, it has this uh, these brakes in the four wheels uh, it has a working sunroof no leaks it works great all doors and windows work great it has a trailer hitch so it has a trailer hitch here in the back and it has the wire to connect to the trailer in there somewhere too uh, it has new tail lights a few uh, uh, stickers that identify this as an electric car uh, a few stickers here as well um, it has uh, new headlamps as well all the tail all the lights by the way are uh, LED LEDs as you can see the headlamps are xenon lamps um, I put this uh, these covers on the sides for efficiency because the uh, condenser of the air, air conditioning doesn't need that much air um, what else? He has working airbags. He has a few stickers here that also identify as an electric. As I said, ties are in very good shape. Uh, handbrake works okay, as you can see, it's in the in a slide and it's braking perfectly. Uh, we're gonna talk about the conversion now. Okay, um, let's get, take a look at the uh, conversion now. By the way, way he has a working alarm. Um, also, I installed a few LEDs on this section to make it obvious when the car is on. You can see there are lights on the front. And let's go take a look under the hood. And open the hood and the trunk. All these covers also for efficiency, it doesn't need air for the radiator anymore. As it has a radiator. Okay, um, as you can see, the, uh, the front, the, the engine compartment has been sealed. It's uh, pretty much waterproof, it has covers under the motor. And uh, this is a net gain impulse 9 motor, uh, it's, it's matched to the transmission with this adapter plate is a uh, cast iron welded has been working great for a few years so uh, I'm going to show you when I'm driving it uh, there's an inline blower here to keep the engine or the motor cool and blow the the, uh, the dust from the brushes also there's a controller this is the controller it's like a big dimmer to pass power from the batteries to the motor uh, this is a solid on one motor and it's connected to anything it needs to connect because it has several nice uh, features and safeties and this is one of the best controllers in the market this is a 1000 amps controller uh, one of the best in the market for sure um, this is a small cooling radiator right about here uh, on behind this uh, just to go cool, uh, the controller there's a test switch here that can be used to manually turn it on and off but it's uh, pretty much automated and it's controlled by the controller um, what else this is the reservoir for the uh, radiators it has a second deposit because one was not enough so I got a second one in the back and now it's working fine it has xenon lights as I say uh, this is the DC to DC converter this pretty much does the work of uh, an alternator in a car converts power from the big battery to 12 volts and uh, 
this is a uh, bank of capacitors this replaces the uh, 12 volt batteries the advantage of the capacitors is that they last like a hundred thousand charge discharge cycles so this will last forever and it's one one thing less to uh, to maintain this is pretty much will last forever and are maintenance free um, this is my vacuum pump this is to uh, keep having power brakes and they break very well the, the, the car brakes very well this is the vacuum pump as I say and this is a, an additional uh, canister for the vacuum this is a switch that turns on and off the pump when there's enough vacuum this disconnects the pump and when there's need for more vacuum then it turns on the, the pump um, what else this is the uh, sensor because there is a vacuum gauge on the dashboard it has an alarm so when you lose vacuum or when you vacuum is at below a certain number it will trigger an alarm so you know before you lose the brake that something is going on with the brakes uh, the rest is a standard we kept the clutch the clutch is working this is the uh, the uh, clutch uh, liquid is a hydraulic clutch so this is the uh, liquid for the clutch the brake liquid is still pretty much there standard this is the junction box for all the high uh, voltage connectors um, what else the air conditioning compressor just to be here behind the uh, bumper unfortunately it's, it's gone now it burned it's not working that's one of the things that need to be fixed in the car um, there's an emergency disconnect here you can push it manually here or there's a cable going to the uh, console and it can be pulled from the console uh, there's an inertia switch this is an inertia switch in case of an accident it will disconnect the system there's a system uh, fuse there's the system fuse there now let's go to the back I think uh, I covered everything here in the front oh as you can see there's some storage here for batteries or for things for the jack whatever you want to put here there's some storage in the front and there's of course the space here for batteries so whatever you want to do with this in the future now in the back here is where now the uh, we connect the car and it has a J1772 connector and it has a, a NEMA connector and pretty much there's a switch here inside but you can flip to pick either one that's an easy way to uh, select which one you want to use these are the batteries these are Nissan Leaf batteries these batteries are already sold I need to remove them later today and deliver them uh, the car has been sold without the batteries that there's gonna need batteries and a charger the charger right now is under the back seat but it's also being sold as part of this as you can see there's a very nice space here for batteries it can fit lead acid batteries or, or lithium batteries but it's very well sealed and since it's sunk into the trunk it doesn't use much space uh, it's pretty much uh, very solid and very thick it has very thick uh, metal metal uh, uh, parts that I can they can hold very well a lot of weight this had lead acid batteries before that and it's holding very well all the weight um, the rear suspension is already reinforced it has stronger springs to, to compensate for the extra weight uh, the car weighs 3080 pounds as it is uh, but as I say it's uh, not going to be sold with batteries uh, now I'm going to take uh, I'm going to do a test drive uh, for the car hey right, let's take a look of the inside of the car uh, the, the features that the car has inside of the car uh, well, let's start with the switch I guess um, the uh, check engine light was replaced with a signal from the controller so this engine light now uh, will give you any errors if there are any errors in the controller it has this uh, programmable gauge that will tell you how much uh, vacuum is there in the uh, brake and if you lose the brake you get an alarm for example let me start pushing the brake several times as you can see when it gets to 10 which is my programmable default start getting an alarm and when it goes uh, above that it will get quiet again and again this typically doesn't get to that level uh, because it stays between 20 and 25 uh, it's just an alarm for emergencies, but it's never activated while you're driving. 
all the other indicators are working fine. The, 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 the speedometer and the tachometer are working fine. The one that doesn't work is the temperature of the motor because we don't have an engine anymore, so we don't really need it. This is the uh, emergency disconnect. That's where you pull the uh, emergency to stop the car in an emergency. Uh, the car has been provided with an uh, OEM electric power steering, so it has now power steering that is really quiet and is uh, very powerful. It has a controller and uh, electric power steering, so it, it works really great. It has uh, this uh, potentiometer which, which calibrates how much assistance you need in the power steering. So this will make it less less assisted or more assisted. I have it in the maximum position. Uh, electric mirrors, electric trunk, uh, electric windows, as you can see, everything works fine. Electric locks. Uh, it has a nice, uh, well, this has uh, the uh, controllers, the radio, everything works fine. Of course, the air conditioning, as I mentioned, is not working. The, the compressor, but the, uh, the all works, all these instruments work. I have a GALD uh, 404 in this section, uh, which uh, measures ampere hours, the uh, time has been used, the amperes in the system, and the voltage of the battery pack. This is connected to the GLD 404 pilot signal, so you can program it to disconnect at a specific voltage. For example, you can, if you want to charge your battery pack at 80%, you can tell this to disconnect at a particular voltage. It's very easy to program. Anyway, this has a uh, very nice interior, as you can see. It has uh, very clean interiors, don't have any problems. Uh, tinted windows. Uh, and it has a very nice feature, which is the sunroof. I don't have any leaks here. It opens in this way, it has two positions. It opens this way, and then it opens uh, in the second position, which is this. This is one of the things I like the best, and then you can, of course, close this when you don't want the, the sun to come in. Uh, I think uh, it's time to go for a drive. Okay, right, we're gonna start driving the car. And you just drive it in second shift or third shift all the time. It drives like an automatic. Uh, as I said, the brake works okay, but we're just gonna start driving. Um, I'm gonna show that the power steering is really great to drive. I mean, it gives a great experience to drive. It does 0 to 6 in about six, uh, 12 seconds, so it can keep up with the traffic very well. Uh, tr wheel is really soft, drives really nice. As you can see, the speedometer and the tachometer work okay. Uh, the indicator for the seat belts is on, by the way, so you can put the seat belt on. There it goes. And it drives great. The only two problems that this car has is this this part, of this center console is broken. This needs to be replaced. It costs about $60 on eBay. And the air conditioning compressor. Uh, what I'm going to do is throw in a pulley for the motor that, that goes into the motor and then the original compressor of the car is that's what you want to do for the air conditioning. To put air, uh, air conditioning with the belt main, uh, to the main motor. Uh, the original compressor that was replace is an electric uh, compressor so it doesn't need the big motor it's, 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 that's the, those are the choices to fix it uh, I'm going to start driving just around the, the, the neighborhood so you can see that it has a lot of power and actually it has a lot of power this car it drives really nice it's very quiet there are no vibrations uh, fortunately I have to sell the car but there's nothing there's nothing wrong with the car it's working really great it's a great conversion um, okay, let me know if you like it. Bye.